Oh, uh, this is not good. We're not messing around. Time to nuke it. Holy shit, we nuked it. <laughs> so much is going on. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more BeamNG Drive. And in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a scenario. We haven't done one of these in quite a while, but I saw one that looked interesting and it's one of those it's one of those situations where I basically just saw the title. I was like, "Okay, we're downloading that." So I don't really know much about it, but I do know that it has something to do with black holes. Yeah, you heard me right. There it is. The BeamNG black hole, and it says, A big scary thing that rips objects and the fabric of time apart is literally unstoppable. So it looks like we're going to be uh, trying to stop a black hole. So that sounds pretty fun to me. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so it looks like we actually have a little bit of backstory here. It says, The BeamNG black hole. Here's something really funny. Are you ready? So the crusher got unhappy and crushed a car such that it became smaller than the Schwarzschild radius and became a revolving mass of black, hot matter devouring the terrain around it. Hello, you look a little terrified. Anyway, all you have to do is activate all four of the coils such that we can create some antiparticles using the energy of the black hole itself to be thrown into the black hole, thus making the black hole lose its mass via Hawking radiation. <laughs> Checkpoints will show periodically to show you where you need to go. Different colors represent different phases. Messages will be shown on the top left for information for information as the black holes state and other various information including our contact with you. Also, be careful of getting too close to the black hole. It will noticeably affect your car if you get within a kilometer of it. A kill, yeah, kilometer. And the, on the contrary, the SBR4 is fast and has a low center of mass, so you'll be fine, hopefully. You get all that good there. Good, though. One last thing. If you don't stop it, then it will devour the Earth and maybe then the solar system. So there's some incentive for you. Wow. Okay. Um, That was a lot to take in. So basically, we're trying to save the world because a black hole formed because a car got crushed too much. Uh, Yeah. So I guess there's four different things kind of scattered around the map. I think this one is the closest up here. Holy shit. There's the black hole. And it is stable at the moment, but it looks like we have to get all these things to actually make it stable again and hopefully destroy it. I guess that's what we're trying to do. But yeah, supposedly if we actually get too close to it, it'll actually start to affect our car. That'll be fun to see, but I really don't want to wreck because if you wreck, you're gonna have to start over the whole thing. And I don't know how long this actually this campaign is. So that would that could potentially suck major ass if we crashed right at the end, you know? So just don't get mad at me if I if you see me driving really slow. If I do, you know why at least. Okay, here's the first one. Oh, there's the anti-particles! <laughs> wow, this this got surprisingly deep and realistic for a, for not realistic, a scientifically accurate maybe for a BMG kind of scenario thing. I don't know how long this is, by the way. So if this ends up being a really short video, I apologize. But this this just looked too cool. It's one of those things where I was just like, oh, black hole, fuck yeah, automatic download. All right, so it looks like this uh, this uh, scenario is going to have us driving all over the Utah map, which is arguably the biggest. So a lot of the uh, time spent in this scenario is going to be trying not to crash and just basically going across the map. Jesus Christ, that thing is huge! I don't want to get anywhere near that, but at the same time, I want to get as close as I can to it as humanly possible without crashing. All right, here's the second one. Boom! There you go, coil B. Initialized. I don't. I don't really think it did anything. But it looks like for that last one over there, we're gonna have to get pretty damn close to this thing. So that could be pretty bad. Uh, but I'm actually kind of excited to see what's gonna happen, though. Okay, I think I'm already starting to kind of feel the uh, the effects. Of it. It's not very strong yet, but I can just feel my car kind of leaning to the left here. So I'm gonna kind of slow down just a tad. Oh, this next one though, we're gonna have to get pretty damn close. Let's get it. Hit it. Come on, there you go. Okay, only one left. Oh man, this is intimidating, I gotta say. I'm just waiting for my car to just fly up into the air and go straight into the black hole. Oh man, I can hear that thing. Okay, we're getting pretty damn close to it now. Oh shit. My car, is my car, I can't tell if, oh. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, oh god. No, don't go off the road. Okay, it's definitely dragging the car towards it now. That is so fucking weird. But so awesome at the same time, holy shit. 
Okay, I'm not just being a bad driver here. You can clearly tell that it is pulling my car in, but I think we're actually going to start getting a little bit farther away from it now, so we should be okay. Jesus Christ! Oh man, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get eaten by the black hole. Not yet. I'm too young. Oh shit! Go, go, go! No, 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 no! Don't get stuck here. We're okay. We're okay. This car is powerful enough. I believe in you. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we almost about died right there. I could tell. Oh, that was. It's kind of scary, guys. But yeah, I'm not really sure about the uh, scientific accuracy of this scenario. But you know who gives a shit, man? It's it's supposed to be fun, so don't rag on it just for being scientifically inaccurate. It's still fun as hell. All right, so the last one's right up there. I think I don't think we're gonna get too close to the black hole from up there, but we're still going gonna have to go towards it again. So that kind of sucks. I don't know if we're gonna be inside its sphere of influence, though. At least not as bad as we were a minute ago. That was. That was utterly terrifying. Anyway, here we go. Last one. Shut your ass down, black hole. Coil de-initialized. Sweet. All right now. Oh, shit. Look at that thing. Okay, antiparticles have been gathered. Head to the bridge where it's safe away from the collision. All right, sounds good. So where's the bridge? Look at that thing spin. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely in the sphere of influence at least a little bit. We got to go all the way over there. That's quite a ways away, but we should be pretty safe. At least against this thing, I hope. God damn, that thing is... I kind of want to drive into that just to see what would happen. At least, I mean, I know it would happen. We'd get fu fucking vaporized. That's basically it turned into dust. Oh, God, this car's still hard to control. I don't know if it's just me being a shitty driver or the car's just really loose or if I'm still in the influence. It kind of feels like I'm still in that thing's influence, but it should be far enough away by now, you'd think. All right, here we go. We made it to the bridge. So, what is going to happen? We're going to see some fireworks today. Subatomic particle fields. There it goes. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. There might be a slight complication. Uh-oh. It's unstable. The black hole seems to want to... Oh, God. Don't think about the antiparticles wanting to collide. Uh, this is not good. We're not messing around. Time to nuke it. Holy shit, we nuked it. <laughs> so much is going on. Black hole. Oh, God. Okay, so nuking it made it worse. Good to know. That's a lot of... Fucking shit just happened. The sky is black. There must be something we can do. Oh my god. Uh, head up to the central control building. It's our only chance now. What? Fucking what just happened? Oh, uh, okay. So it didn't work. So we were like, fuck it. We're gonna nuke it. And that just made the black hole even bigger. And turned the sky black. And now we have to go up to that station up there. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> um, so let's just get on our way. Somehow we're not being affected by the... Okay, it's pretty far away. But you'd think that it would be... You could be affected in the whole tri-state area when it's that big. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to try to make our way up to the station up here and hopefully try to try to rid this thing of the world. You know, this is actually a pretty damn good story. You should have made it into... I guess it wouldn't really work as a campaign because it's only one scenario. But it's a big-ass scenario. So, holy shit, I am thoroughly impressed. I love seeing shit, oh god, I love seeing shit like this in BMG. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's really fucking amazing, and it's just super creative, and like, good on you, dude. This, this deserves a lot of love. And I'm pretty sure I got to this thing pretty early. It was just uploaded this morning, so I think it's safe to say I'm probably the first person to play this. So, hey, mod creator, you should put me on your, on your mod page, huh? 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 Anyway, holy shit, those are big stations. Uh, okay, wow. This is really spooky. What is that giant machine? I don't even know, man. But it looks like it could be able to take down a black hole if I ever if I ever did see a machine that would be able to do that. Anyway, we made it to the station. Don't drive off. This car is like super slidey. Oh my god. Anyway, we made it, so what next? You'll need to turn on the turbines, restore the connection to the empty batteries. Where are those? Oh, they're over there. Anyway, what's the sign say? Time accelerator. Time accelerator function. Uh, all connections are secured. Beam fully functioned and pointed in correct position. All right, so I, I, I don't really know what this thing's going to do. Stabilize the black hole, I guess. But, uh, yeah, whatever needs to be done, I, I'm, I'm your man. I still haven't crashed the car yet, knock on wood. Hopefully that doesn't happen because I really don't want to have to start this over because it's like a 10. So far, it's been like a 10-minute scenario, which is pretty damn big. It is kind of fun to drive on this map with like a sense of like frantic depression. 
Like, I, like the world's going to end if I don't go faster. But I'm still taking it pretty slow. I don't want to crash my car. Like, because the world, yes, is in danger. But I, I am in danger if I go too fast because I don't trust myself. So if the world can just wait a little bit longer, I think I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to pull it off. All right, so we're at the massive, massive generators. Now it says danger electricity. That's a fucking huge building. Like, I don't know if you guys can get the scale of this thing, but it's friggin' ginormous. And we're gonna turn it on with our car magically. Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, God. Holy shit, those things are moving. Okay, where are we going? We're going back? All right, guys, I'll see you there. All we need is some, like, really awesome music. I'm thinking, like, some soundtrack from Interstellar. I would put it over this, but, you know. Oh, fuck! Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Holy shit. Okay, appa apparently I should not talk and drive, but we're we seem to be okay. Oh, God, please tell me this is almost over. Any anyway, time accelerator is powering up. Wait a minute, and then fire it. Okay, sounds good. 100%. Fire when ready. Here we go. Black hole state accelerated. There is only one thing I just remembered. What? What? Once a black hole loses its mass through Hawking radiation, the last moment of its life, it releases all its energy at once, equating to an explosion. Uh-huh. This black hole released 370 peta joules of energy. How much is that? Or 88 megatons of TNT, around 3,870 times more energy than a Hiroshima explosion with unmind get to the kinetic energy, energy absorbent building as fast as possible. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Oh, our car's kind of fucked, but it's still driving. So this thing's going to blow. So we need to get to that green building ASAP or we're going to be completely vaporized. Oh, my God, guys. This is fucking epic. Please, car, don't quit on me now. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's that far away. Though. This thing is kind of driving a little bit tipsy, though. Just from that little collision we had. There must have been so much planning going into the scenario. This is probably one of the better ones I've seen in a while. So congrats to you, dude. I'm just trying to figure out how to actually get to that building over there. I guess, I'm just going to keep falling around this mountain and try not to crash my car any further. Jesus Christ, this is this is a huge pain in the ass trying to drive this thing like this, but it's my own fault So that's the only person I can blame here. All right. I see the path now So I guess I just got to kind of follow the highway here and it should lead up to that building, which is good Oh, no, there's no guardrails on that. So we're gonna have to be very very careful. Oh For fuck's sake, okay Just just keep it steady just keep it steady. Oh my god, please, please don't drive off the side. Let's actually get as much to the left as we can here. That is our bunker though. Hopefully the, the area has been evacuated. Oh my god. Alright, we made it. We fucking made it. Let's get in. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Did we do it? Holy shit. Oh my god, there's the nuke! Shit! They made a nuke in BMG. Are we okay? It's over. All right, what now? The explosion has dissipated. Now is safe to exit the building. All right. Is it over with? Can we come out? I guess. Is there any nuclear fallout? Well, that went spectacularly well. I suppose it's well. Simulation over. Okay, it was, just, it was a simulation. Right. Whoa. Holy shit. You do realize this simulation was to test the strength of this new SBR. <laughs> what? Fine. If this is what you want, have fun. Is what? Oh! <laughs> oh, now we're falling into the shit. Okay, I gotta get a thumbnail. I gotta get a picture. This is fucking amazing. There, we gave you a medal so you can't be disappointed anymore. Also, the damage you did to your car is coming out of your paycheck that we didn't pay you. Oh my god, that is fucking amazing, guys. Probably one of the better scenarios I've ever seen in Beam and G Drive. So congratulations to whoever made this. 
I will definitely be linking this in the description, and I urge you all to give it a try because that was that was an experience, guys. So make sure to check this out, and make sure to leave a comment and a like, and to subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode of Beam and G. Oh man, that was a ride.